Hello and welcome to video 6 and the final video in the DHIS2 GIS Academy. In this video we'll be covering how to use the ORS Open Root Service plugin in QGIS to calculate the walking or driving distances from locations and how to calculate the populations within the identified walking or driving distances. Firstly we need to make sure QGIS is loaded and within QGIS we need to make sure we have our facilities data loaded and our population data loaded. We also need to make sure they're in the same CRS. We can do this by checking the projection by right clicking on a layer, going to layer CRS and seeing the projection details in this section here. Currently mine is in WGS84 so we need to make sure that the population layer is in WGS84. So if we right click on the population we're able to check that here. We'll also be able to use the projected data we projected in video 5. So if you have your projected facilities or projected population open you can also use that data. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have the plugin downloaded and set up correctly. So to do this we're going to plugins, manage and install plugins and then we'll search for the ORS tool plugin. So we need to search for ORS tools. Then we click on the ORS tools plugin and we can see all of the details about the plugin here. Uh, ORS tools is a routing and isochrones and matrix um, plugin and it allows us to look at the routing services for directions, reachable areas, isochrones and catchment areas and other route optimization tools. In my case I already have the ORS tools plugin installed in my QGIS however for you there will be an install button in the lower right, right hand side if you click on this, it will help install the plugin and you'll be able to use it in QGIS. I'm now going to close my plugins and we'll set up the ORS tool for use. To do this, we need to go to Web, ORS Tools, and Provider Settings. Within Provider Settings, you'll need to change the API key here. When you open this, your API key window should be blank. However, you'll be able to fill this with an API key that is given to you in the session slide deck or within the Slack channel. So please make sure you enter the API key that's issued to you and then press OK. We're now ready to calculate the isochrones within QJS. So if we go to web again, ORS tools, and then instead this time press ORS tools, the plugin is loaded within our QGIS window. So we go to batch jobs, and we go to isochrones, and we're looking to produce isochrones from our layer. So we click isochrones from layer. This opens an isochrones from layer window. Our provider should stay the same as open root service, but our input point layer should be set to our facilities data set. Our input layer ID field can be set to the names, and this is the name of each facility available within that chiefdom for Sierra Leone. Firstly, we're going to look at the walking distance. So we're going to go down to foot and walking under travel mode. Our dimension is going to stay as time, but it could also be set to distance if you wanted. And then we need to make sure we set an appropriate range for our areas. So I'm going to look at the population within 30 minutes and a 60 minute time radius of our loaded health facility data. 
and I'm going to save the isochrones to a file. And I'm going to call this Dama Facilities Walking Distance and press save. I'm now going to run the tool. If I press close, we can then zoom into the tool output, which is shown in these small polygons and isochrones created by the tool. As you can see in the layer section on the left, the darker blue represents all of the areas surrounding the health facility that are within 30 minutes of the facility. The lighter blue areas that I've just clicked and are now shown are within 60 minutes of the facility. Next, we're going to do this for our driving distance. So we'll repeat the process, but instead of selecting walking, we'll go to driving. So we press web, go to ORS tools, and again, go to isochrones and isochrones from layer. We select our input data as our DOMA facilities, select our input layer ID as the name, and under travel mode, we need to make sure we've got driving and car. We'll keep the time dimension the same. And for comparisons, we're going to enter the same time duration which will be 30 and 60 minutes. We'll then save our layers as DEMA facilities driving distance and press save and run. As you can see, the algorithm isochrones from layer has now finished. So we'll close. We'll close the plugin and then we can right click on the DEMA facilities driving distance and go to zoom to layer to see the extent of our driving distance areas. So if we right click off our walking distance, we're now able to see the difference in area between the 30 minutes areas and the 60 minutes and by that we mean for 30 minutes these are the areas that you'll be able to travel to the health facility within 30 minutes and then you can see as well if we untick 30 minutes and tick 60 minutes the areas that were in a 60 minute driving distance or driving time of the health facilities and this is useful when comparing the travel time in terms of a simple buffer radius like we calculated in the video before against something that is more representative of the travel modes used to get to a health facility by the users of the facility. So next we want to look at how we calculate the population living within these areas. So similarly to our technique we used before, we're going to go to our processing toolbox. So processing toolbox, and we're gonna search for zonal statistics. So under raster analysis, we're going to use zonal statistics. And here we're going to go and input our DEMA facilities driving distance we're going to select our Sierra Leone population layer as our raster input. We're going to change our output prefix to pop underscore. We're going to make sure our statistics are count, sum, and mean. And we're going to set our zonal statistics output. So here we're going to call this population living within driving distance facilities and press save. We're going to press run. 
And if we right click and open, we can see the attribute table. And this shows us the count, the sum and the mean for the population living within the 30 minute uh, radius and the 60 minute radius of the different health facilities within our data set. So we're able to then repeat that for walking distance and then we will have calculated the population living within both driving distance and walking distance of the facilities. So the next step is for you to calculate the walking distance to the facilities by yourselves. And that's the end of the video.